Lesson two, choose to influence with honor. Another friend and mentor of mine, Blaine Lee, built an elegantly simple model for decision-making that I found extremely helpful on this point. As a contributor and decision-maker, broadly speaking, there are only a few ways to leverage your power in decision-making. First, you can use coercive power. If you don't do this, you're going to lose your job. Coercive power is all about using fear and intimidation to get desired results. And you know what? Sometimes it works. But in my experience, the moment you leave the room, you have built a reservoir of ill will that will ultimately undermine your effectiveness. Clearly, there has to be a better way to leverage your power. And there is. You can use what Blaine calls utility power. It's all about building a transactional relationship based on the concept of fairness. You help me, I'll help you. It's pay for performance. If you do this, I'll give you a quarter. It makes sense and it works. Now, I'd like you to think about the person who has had the most powerful influence on you in your life. Whoever this person is, they brought out the very best in you, whether they were in the room or not. Now, how many times did they say to you, do this or our relationship is over? Or do this and I'll pay you a quarter for your trouble? Well, if you're like most people, you're sitting there right now saying, that's not the relationship we had. We had something more special, and you did you had a relationship where you unconditionally honored one another. And that relationship had the most powerful influence on you in your life. Wouldn't you like to be that person with the people with whom you work? Why not? You see, I believe you can be if you choose to. When I have a difficult decision to make, one of my reference points is, what would my mentors choose to do or say? You would be surprised at the power of that thought. At Nabisco, years ago, I ran the sales organization. I was constantly facing situations where one customer was trying to engineer preferential treatment relative to the rest of the customer base. To be clear, as many of you know, this is a very common challenge in industry. It is also illegal and unethical. Whenever I faced a situation like this, I reflected on the philosophy of another person I admire, Stephen Covey. Stephen's win-win or no deal perspective helped get me through the night more than once. The basic concept was to work extremely hard to understand what the customer was looking to accomplish so that there was absolutely no mistaking our desire to be helpful. However, at the same time, it was critically important that we make it equally clear that a win for us had to be in some way replicable with our other customers. Eventually, we usually found the win-win. If we didn't, we had no deal but we also had honored one another and developed a deeper level of mutual respect and understanding. So empower yourself, recognize you have the power to choose your behavior and choose to influence with honor.